Oh, it looks like a piece of bacon. So that's good. If I end up looking like a weird Christmas snow globe, I'm sorry. It's, it looks like a um, glue gun. <laughs> so we have the Temp2 airbrush makeup device. So this looks pretty crazy and very high tech. I feel like I hear people saying about airbrushing makeup all the time and I have no idea what it means, but I guess it's kind of like spray painting. And already I'm kind of thinking, who would ever need this? But I'm intrigued and excited to try it. And this device looks terrifying. If you're super bougie, I suppose this is the new frontier of uh, makeup. I'm gonna break the sad news. So the sad news is it's 160 pounds um, and the pods range from uh, 24 to 35 or six pounds, I think. It has three speeds. So if you look here, you can touch it like this. That's speed one, speed two, speed three. And then you tap this here to um, apply spray. Temp2 makeup is weightless and buildable. A little goes a long way. Okay. It's on two for foundation. This shimmery one in here is uh, the highlighter. I'm slightly nervous about how this is gonna go, mainly because I don't wanna get it in my eyes, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna do a quick test run on my arm. I'm gonna do blusher today. So I'm just gonna turn the power on. Cool. <laughs> Wait, hey, okay, here we go. Slightly concerned it's gonna come out that color. If I end up looking like a weird Christmas snow globe, I'm sorry. And that I just feel like this is so unnatural. It's, it looks like a um, glue gun. Okay. Oh! Here goes. I'm terrified, as you can probably tell. Okay. Ooh. Sounds like a lawnmower. Oh. I can feel it. Ready. Yeah. Oh god. Smells nice. Hey. <laughs> so unnatural. Oh no, I think I've probably gone really overboard now. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh God, that's a lot again. Oh, it looks like a piece of bacon. So that's good. Oh, I'm getting better at it now. It actually feels quite nice. Kind of like a treatment. That's too much. I think we can all agree. But the problem is you have to even it out. Now we blend, <laughs> I'm guessing. Very nice, dewy looking finish. It's too much, isn't it? Blend it in a bit. Mm. So it's very, very shimmery. It has definitely worked. So final thoughts is, uh, there's too much on me, but that's not their fault, that's my fault. Quite fun though, like it actually does look good if you hadn't, if I hadn't have literally covered my whole face like that. Just too expensive. But all in all, if you want your face to look like a big piece of gammon, then I'd go for it. It did feel a bit alien at first because it's just air going out your face. Great if if you can afford it. I just think pricing something that high just limits the amount of people that can use it. If you can, then do it because it, it looks it looks great. I look great. Surely you want to have a bit more control of where this goes. So I think this has kind of gone sort of everywhere, but. In its defense, it has done a good job. For the money, I probably wouldn't pay for it. It's cool, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. <laughs>